Yo, what's up guys, Walt Rivera here. I'm freezing and we got a cool lesson today. So let's just jump right into it. Here we have uh, three staves. Let's make it very easy for you. I have here violin two, viol O, and we're gonna be working on where middle C is, okay? So even if you know where middle C is, hold on, because this is about the great staff and it's gonna be an awesome lesson. So check this out. We have three instruments here, violin two, viola, violin one, uh, um, and violoncello. If you wanted to go all the way up, it's the whole it's the whole orchestra, but let's not get too crazy with it. So let's just center in on these three. This could very well instead, this could be vocals if you wanted it to be. This could be um, guitar in its kind of like mid-range if you wanted it to be. And this if you wanted to, this because they bass, okay? So check this out. Here we have C. There you, there you see it down there on the keyboard. And if I were to walk up, the notes, you can see where they combine. Now, this note here is middle C. Now, if I were to play this note here, you'll also see the same note lines up on the piano. So check this out. This note, this note, and this note, oh, I'm sorry, and this note are all the same exact note. All right, so let's just make, let's just make this easier for you to kind of see visually what I'm talking about. Uh, which one would that be? It would be this one, right? And I'll make them a whole note, and I will bring this up. All right, so this note, this note, and this note are all middle C. Now, to show you where the grand staff is, that these actually all overlap, believe it or not. So I want to take this guitar and move it up You'll see, I'm gonna put the middle C on the guitar right over top of the middle C on the vocals. Then I'm gonna take the bass and put it right over top of the middle C on the other two. And let me just uh, kinda, of, let me just zoom in here and kinda of fix that. So you're gonna see something really cool in a minute. Let me just go down. That's probably about as good as you'll get it, right? That's pretty good. All right, so now you can see how the notes actually overlap and that in between you have the treble and on the bottom you have the bass but 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 in between you have this alto clef okay so I'm, I'm gonna write this all out for you you have treble then the next one is that alto clef that looks like kind of like the letter B the, squ the squiggly and then the one on the bottom is the bass clef so there's where all three are and that's where the middle C lies now if I were to stretch it back out again you'll see where middle C is, okay? And it's actually in between all three. So middle C here on the alto clef, the guitar is the alto clef. Um, the bass player actually plays the bass clef. Okay, let me make this easy for you. This is very cool to kind of see it visually like this. Vocals uh, are your treble clef. This isn't, you know, like textbook, but for the most part, in certain ranges, a guitar clef you could say is actually a treble clef, but it, it transposes an octave. So um, this here, this middle part, see this line, like kind of like this looks like an arrow almost? That middle part is where the C is, okay? So now if I were to move this up, there's D, E, F, G, A. Now if I were to play this A here, this A is right here on the, you know, you, I don't know if you can see it, I'll move it over. This A is right here. There's C, D, E, F, G, A is right there, okay, just above the staff. That A on the treble clef is actually right up here, okay? And you can see that if I were to combine those again, you would see how the notes, I'll bring this up, C, D, E, F, G, A, you can see how they actually overlap. Okay, so there's how the five lines on each staff actually overlaps. And so that's what the great staff is, is that you're actually combining that when you see a piece of music kind of go like from a bass clef all the way up, you're actually tackling a lot of different clefs. There's more than just three clefs in music. There's a bunch of different ones. There's soprano clef. There's, you know, there's soprano alto clef. There's a bunch of different ones. But for the most part, because uh, of pop culture of you know, guitars, bass, and melody and all, you, for the most part, you would have just treble, alto, and then bass. But now if, uh, you know, you wanted to, it actually spans, I think it's 13 staves. 
I, I forget. But uh, but for the most part, uh, just so you know, a stave is the line. Like this is a staff. This whole thing's a, a staff. But just the line itself would be a stave. You know, line, line, line. So there's there's five five lines. Uh, and all staves or all staffs. Um, I'm an idiot. Staves is the pluralization of staff. You wouldn't say staffs. You would say staves. But for the most part, there's five. There's five lines, um, and that never changes ever. So um, that's it. That's how they kind of combine. So when you're writing a piece of music and something's like really low, just know that this C is actually an octave lower than this C. And if you want to see the visualization. There's my C4, okay, on the piano right here. And this bass clef is gonna go down to here. And you'll see it in a second. And there you have it. So if I were to play, like, like let's say, um, you know, this. Or, well, guitar, or, eh, whatever. Right, let me go up to G. Mm, I think G would be tough too. All right, let me go A. Okay, that's good. So here's this A. If I want to play that on a treble clef, there's how it would look on treble clef. Now these are both the same exact notes though. Okay, this goes B, D, F, and then B, B, D, F, B. You can hear how it sounds the same, and you can also see it on the piano. So that's the idea of how uh, the staves connect and I think that's going to help your writing. So if something's maybe too high for a bass player, maybe you should give that part to the guitar because it's in a better range. Or if something's too low for a guitar player or for a vocalist or for a bass singer, um, or not, if something's too 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 low for a soprano singer or something, then you give them off. You give those notes to another instrument. So that's uh, the basic idea of it. I hope this helped you guys out a little bit. Um, and I'm back. I'm doing this every day and this is super awesome, super fun. So, um, any questions, let me know. And I hope this gave you a little bit of a push to kind of learn music, read music and, uh, you know, learn something new every day. See you guys.